everyone, um, I'm Jessica from Jessica Zombie and this is my best friend Kate from Hi. Luna Melody and last weekend uh, I went to Anime North and she had to stay here unfortunately but um, I went to Anime North and I got a bunch of cool stuff and I figured I would show you guys all the fun stuff that I got and also show Caitlin at the same time. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. I. Oh my god, I want to go to Anime North so badly, and everyone always has such a great time, and hopefully next year, 2020! <laughs> It'll happen. It'll happen. So I figure first, maybe I'll show, because we did a lot of shopping in Toronto as well, so I figure I'll first show the stuff I got from Anime North, and then I'll show the stuff I got from Toronto. Uh, so we'll start with this, maybe. Um, so one of the first things I got was this little boy, <gasps> this little boy here. Uh, and my boyfriend got it for me for a graduation present. And we got this from, ooh, I can't remember the name, but I'll put it in the, I'll put like a, a little pop-up down here or something with the name of the company. Um, but this little dude, his name is Jim Basin. He's a whale shark and he has like little like seashell on his belly and it's just, it's so wholesome. He's it's so just wholesome. so wholesome and he's like a little sailor hat. And it's I so, love him so much. He's so precious. Like who doesn't love a little whale? Look at that little, that little, little, little shell guy. You can get it focused. <laughs> like, what is that? He's so strong. Yeah. Oh, I love him. I know, right? I love him so much. I have so much like merch of him because he's so good. And it's by, I always thought it was by the Hello Kitty people, but I... <laughs> <laughs> He's my friend though, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> but I guess he's by the Rila Kuma people, like <gasps> Sa San X instead of San Rio. I didn't know that. It's a fun fact. I love Rila Kuma. Yeah. He's a oh, boy. He's a boy. And uh, so our next boy, but more like a girl, is <gasps> Isabel. Oh, Isabel! I'll see if I can get her oh to focus. God. And this is, I believe it's from Japan. Uh, it's from Roni's Collectibles, I believe is what the shop's called. I'll put that in the description below too. But look how cute. And she, as you can probably hear, I can't. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Spoiler alert, I'm half deaf. <laughs> Oops. Well, imagine a bell oh. tingling. Oh, that's so funny. Just imagine. Like... <laughs> Sorry. So sad. I always forget. But yeah, look how cute. She's cute. She's wholesome. She's having a good time. She was literally my favorite character from that game. I know, right? I didn't play it that much, but as soon as I seen her, and I was like, yes. She's so, so good. Awesome. And for our friend Oscar, he always says, Isabel, she is a bell. She is a bell. Oh, and yes. she has bells that, that apparently make sound. Yeah, that you can hear. <laughs> Sad. Um, and then our next boy is Graduation Pikachu. Because some of you might not know, but I graduated from university for the second time. Second time. Uh, in my Bachelor of Computer Science degree. So I wanted to get something for that. So I got. Little graduation Pikachu. He's also from Roni's Collectibles, and I believe it's just from the Pokemon Center. Yeah, it's from the Pokemon Center. So he's pretty cool. He's just hanging out, living his best graduation life. You he's did a good it. Boy. I'm I proud did of you. Again. You did the thing, boo. <laughs> yeah, so much cool. Yeah. I'm so much cool. Oh my god. But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't. I hope they just stay on your arm forever. I'm kind of like squinting my shoulders up. I'm just like, this is fine. This is good. This is good. I love it. It looks so cute. <laughs> um, our next boy, or other girl, I should say, this is like the best find ever. So I got an Elizabeth Bathory Nandroid from uh, this from Navito World, I think is the name of the booth. So it's like actually for real licensed. Uh, and if you guys follow my page and stuff, you know I did an Elizabeth Bathory cosplay and I put my heart and soul into that boy. And blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, so much love. <laughs> so much sweat. <laughs> so much love. So sweet. And it's her, it's not wearing the classic outfit she wears. It's like a plaid dress and a, I don't know if you can kind of. So that just means that you gotta do that one now too, yeah? Exactly. Like, look Check out her Patreon links. <laughs> Ring that bell. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks for plugging me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like so cute. Like I just, oh, oh my girl, she's so precious. Good. Must protect. I know, right? She's so good. She's sassy. She's like 14. I love those things, but I'm always like, I want to keep them safe in the box. But then I'm like, I must put them out for display as well. Same. I always do because I know, like, if you're collecting it and you want to resell it later, it's good to keep it in a box. But I'm like, realistically, am I ever gonna sell that? No. No. So I'm just gonna take it out. Exactly. I don't care. Love um. It. Oh. Okay. And I have one more. And a North thing. So this got wrecked in my luggage. It's a poster or a print, I should say. 
Oh, look how cute. And the artist's Ooh. name, I don't know how to say her name, but I'll, I'll like have it pop up down here or something like that. Um, and yes, KDA Ari, as you can obviously see, because everyone knows about it. I don't know where to put them. But yeah, and it's Most like- Cosplay Cosplay in uh, 2019. Yeah, there's- the KDA. <laughs> but you know what, I love it. And all like the glow up tails, like the tails, you have that glow. So and, like, cute. Yeah, there's a bunch of them at Anime North. And at the rave, there was like a big KDA group and they're all lighting up and I'm like, oh. Oh, so good. So good. So that's the only print I bought actually this year. But so I end up buying like 15 prints and I'm like, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. So I have like this like little <laughs> filing cabinet in my cosplay room that's just like all of these like posters. I'm like, put them up eventually, it's fine. Sometimes. It's like wall kinda like wallpaper a wall, but like wallpaper it with prints. Yes. Then you have like all of the prints and no more empty wall. I'm loving it. Um so now I guess it's all the Anime North stuff, and then now it's time for the for the Toronto stuff. So I think I'll show these in the kind of chronological order, but kind of not of how, when I got them. So this boy is a, <laughs> is a Psyduck straw. I love him. <laughs> and we got it because of my he's friend, so perfect. He's so wholesome, right? And it's from 7-Eleven. <laughs> Because, you know, we don't have like a 7-Eleven here in Halifax, so in the Toronto airport there's a 7-Eleven and all like uh, a group of us went downtown together and we all got slushies from 7-Eleven and one of my friends like, hey, there's a Psyduck straw, I'm like, oh my god, so we all bought Psyduck straws. I love it. Isn't it great? They only had, they had two other Pokemon, they had Snubble and then they had somebody else, but I think it's for the Detective Pikachu movie, I think that's why they... Had it. Well, and they, it was so good. Psyduck is best boy, anyways. So I, know, I mean, fight me. I like that it's purple because he eats grapes. And he waddles away. He waddle waddles <laughs> in the very next day. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was so cute. Um, okay, so the next thing is well, I went to Hot Topic, as one does, and um, I got. Oh, I'll take it on it, but whatever. I only got one thing because it seemed like they don't have any more like gothy, spooky, like fun stuff anymore. It's all like um, like more fandom things. Which I'm not upset about, but like the OG Hot Topic was very like goth emo. Like, yeah, like Trip and Lip 2007. Service. Yeah, I miss those days. I still live in those days. Right. Uh, nonetheless, I got this Evangelion shirt. <gasps> uh, that'd be kind of see. It has Shinji's <gasps> galleon on it. Boop, boop. And. Yes. It's so sweet, right? And then it has like Ava 1, like his Ava number. Ava 1. Um, yeah. So that's this boy. I also just realized the shirt I'm wearing, I got an Anime North 2. I'll try to like show you better. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. It's from Ocean in Space. Ocean space. And she's from Toronto, so which is like support local people. Yeah. But yeah, it's like this big anime girl. And the back. The back looks like sprinkles. Yeah. That's oh, that's so oh, cute. Sprinkle. Your little cuppy cake shirt of plum tumpy up pumpkins. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's the best way anyone's ever described me. I'm here for the old references. I'm an old soul. It's so good though. It's so good too. <laughs> I love it. It's gonna... um, the next boy is we went to this store called Borderline Plus and it's like a gothic... I guess it's like a gothic clothing store and they have like shoes and accessories and stuff. And I got this sweater. It's from... Um, it's a like Killstar. <gasps> Yeah, it's kind of hard to see on the camera. Ooh, it is really hard to see. But it's like basically like a black turtleneck long sleeve shirt. And then it has like all a, of this little haltery with all the gadgets and all that fun stuff. Yeah, and like the a buckles. Like a fake harness, oh, I guess. Cute. Yeah, and then it's attached to the shirt, and then the back is just uh, the plain material. Yeah, the back is just plain. Oh, but you got like the mini oh. baby witchy arms. Yeah, like, it's like the like, bell-shaped arms. Yeah, so it's like super witchy, but also kind of like bondagey. I love it. It's so cute. Do they have it in pink? No. Oh, damn it. So, that would be perfect for you, though. <laughs> <laughs> if it was. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then this guy. So I got these sunglasses uh, from Michael Kors, and I really wanted clear ones. Like how Caitlyn's glasses are all clear and pink and like gorgeous and see through. And I'm like, I don't want something like see through and cute. And good. Just trying to get your mouth to be like, hey. it's like focus, focus, please. Oh no, just trying to get your mouth to so be like, oh, hey. oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> That's so good. It's fine. So I got like these boys. They're like big boys, but I kind of like that they're like huge. I love them. <gasps> I'd wear them. I really like them. And they're like way cheaper than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Which is, I never thought I'd ever say that about Michael Kors, but I went in and they're like, these are million dollars. I'm like, oh. That's not I what them. I was expecting. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah, I'm like, that never happened. So yeah, I guess I'll show just like what they look like. So they're just clear boys that are kind of big. I really like them. So I have, since now I have contact lenses, I need glasses that um, don't have a prescription in them because my other glasses have a prescription. So I have non-prescription ones that wear contact lenses. Um, and okay, then we'll do this. Boy. So the other thing is you're after Anime North and we went to the Square One Mall in Mississauga, I think is how it's called or how it's pronounced. Mississauga? And Mississauga. 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 That place. And that place is not Toronto. That's across the way. And they have a Morphe. I saw the, actually, sorry, we went there and I was dressed like a bomb and I felt lazy. And we only went there because we really wanted Chipotle because Chipotle is the best place on planet Earth. And, and um, <laughs> I saw this girl in the food court with a Morphe bag, and I'm like, oh my god, there's a Morphe store in here? Like, yes please, like, please give it to me. And so we went and found the Morphe store, and I was like, in a bun with like, Chris's big dowel sweater, like, I'm like, oh, can I please like, find all your Jeffree Star stuff? So, I got, um, oh, I can't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the Jeffree Star Morphe collaboration on the brushes and I was really excited about it because these are sold out online and I'm like I'll never get them but then I'm like oh now I'm gonna get them because they had a lot and like I'll show you what they look like I didn't take them out of the package I mean I'm sure everyone's seen like Jeff Star's video of them and stuff but you can see they're like super pink and cute and like yeah just pink and cute I guess are they synthetic brushes um uh, I hope so <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> I'm not sure. Kate's also a makeup artist, FYI, so uh, she knows way more about this stuff than I do. Follow my Instagram, like, it's Luna Melody Moi. Follow it. <laughs> I'll put it in the in the bio or whatever. You can also people say. follow my cosplay page with its Luna Melody. I'll put it. I'll put it. <laughs> I love that. I'll put it in the description so you can follow <laughs> Kaylin because she's super talented. They look really, really nice. Normally, uh, which tr traditionally. Um, any like blush brush does tend to be uh, real hair just because of uh, the fibers will actually not hold on to as much product and be a little bit more daintier with it because with oh. your blush you don't want to be like like, <laughs> like with your eyeshadow right yeah um, but they've been actually coming around with a lot of different uh, synthetic brushes that are actually like they almost are coming out with like those like the follicles and the pores and everything, so it's not going to be holding on to a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. It's really cool, but yeah, yeah. So obviously, I don't really like having things that are real thin animal hair. So that's true. And you got a pretty pink spoolie. Oh, yo! I didn't even notice that. Oh, I love the spoolie. I love a good spoolie, man. Thank you, Jeffrey Star. Casey, can't. Do you focus? Maybe. Maybe we're gonna not. hold. That's fine. Wait, well, like, I don't know what we're doing, so we're just doing our best. <laughs> <laughs> doing our darndest. It's yeah. fine. Just doing the best. Um, and then I also got. I got so like every star thing. So I got the blood sugar palette, which I'm sure everyone on Earth's already seen, but it's like I'm not seeing it in person <gasps> yet though. Ah! Look how beautiful! Oh, I'll show the like, camera. Pink. Look how pretty! Cause I don't have anything. I have like a million eyeshadow palettes that I've never used, but I love that this one is so like reds and and it's like reds that are vegan reds instead of it being like dead squishy bug reds. Yes. I'll let you see that. And I love the white. It's really pretty in that too. That's like a pure white, my dude. Yeah, which is nice, because like, you know. I really do like how like warm tone this really is. I do too. Yeah. It's so pretty. I'm oh. like, thank you. That's me. Understand. I'm all positive. Ooh, are you? Yeah. Is that the kind I can give to a lot of people? Uh, o negative is where you can give to everybody, but only receive O negative. I can only give to everyone who's positive. Oh. Yes. But okay. I, can, I, I can still give to like A, B, A, B, and O positive. I can't give to any negatives. You can't give to me. I'm an A negative. Rip. I'm so sorry. Rip. Yeah. It's good. Oh my God. Connor's like oh. AB positive and he like literally the only person who can take AB positive is AB positive. So he's like, well, please bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna donate platelets then. And I'm like, okay, great. You have so much protein in your diet anyway, so that's fair. Yeah, that's awesome. So pretty. I want to swatch this so badly, but I don't want to put like bacteria on it. You can swatch it. After after uh, 
Like later on, we can like <gasps> we'll like stick around with it. I'll eat it. Yes. I'm so excited. Same. I like the little like the little Arms. latches on it. So I feel like normally they have like it's magnetized or something, but like. With enough force, like that can still come open on. Yeah. Own, right. I like how this is like very secured. Me too. It's like ain't coming open in the luggage. Yeah. And this okay. I'll put this on top of this a bit. Yeah. There's our big pile on the ground. <laughs> um, and then my next thing, I feel like this is a lot of things that I got. Uh, I got a lipstick, a lippy stick, a liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star. It is the mannequin. Uh, I think I see. It won't focus, but. Maybe well, kind of do the okay. whole. Are you gonna focus, baby? Are you gonna focus? Auto focus to this, please? No? Okay. Like, well, well, just take our word for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a more nudey kind of color. So I went in and I'm like, I want a nude that isn't dark. And she's like, here you go. And I'm like, hey, thanks. Like this one right here. Yeah. This is, this is deceased. Yeah, I love that one. Because I'm dead inside. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, <laughs> the struggle. The struggle. I love it. The same. Uh. Okay, and then I got I got Caitlin some stuff. Some stuff. You did? Some stuff. Yeah. Sorry, are you ready? I'm are you so ready? Excited. I'm so excited. <gasps> ah! You can show this. Oh the yay! Camera. <gasps> okay, so um, at the very beginning of beauty school, we we were told how bad beauty blenders are to have in your kit because they just hold bacteria forever and ever and ever, no matter how much you clean them. So we had this little. <laughs> almost like a project. We just cut open our own beauty blenders and they were really gross. A lot of them were like, mine wasn't that bad. I clean mine like at least once a week and I let it soak and everything. So I just have like a tiny little line around the outside. I'm like, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But I still cut up my, my beauty blender and I'm like, well shit, I don't have a beauty blender anymore. What am I gonna they're do? They're so good. But I got some more beauty, mm -hmm. beauty blenders. And they're Jeffree Star. And they're Jeffree <laughs> Star and I love them. And they're pink, they're my color. My last one was purple. It was the Closest oh. colory color that I can get, but it was like a dark purple. That's not so pretty though. But those looks, and you can use those ones around your eyeballs. Yeah. Oh my god. And I mean, like, you want to use the smaller ones anyways because your um, the skin around your eyes are so so sensitive that like tip for you, tip from Kate. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna be using your hands or anything around your eyes, use your ring fingers because they will not be they they won't like apply as much pressure. Ooh, really? And your pinky. Is still ten times the amount of pressure your ring finger does. What? Yep. I didn't know that. Good for fun tip of the day. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> ah, unicorn blood. I love this one. It's so pretty. Yeesh. I figure well. you can use it for like eyeliner and stuff too, like multi-purpose. Well, it's such a it's such a nice nice red. Like you could wear it like around Christmas time. Like. Look how nice that red color is. I know you can't really see it that well, but you can see the color, it's fine. <laughs> Don't look at the detail. Oh my God. But no, I've literally been like, this is always on my, I really, really want unicorn blood. Oh, yay. But I'm gonna put it aside because like this one is a limited edition or like I really need this one, but I've always loved this one. It's always been at the back of my head. Yay. I'm so glad. I even called Jacqueline in the like Lady Pandies or Instagram, but I called her in the store. I'm like, please help. I don't know what to get. Caitlin, help, please. <laughs> and she helped me like pick that one. She was like, get her that one. Get her like a red. I'm like, they have this red. And we're like, okay, that red. Yay! Oh, that's so exciting. So happy Thank anime you. north. <laughs> happy anime north. You can attend, but here's some fun stuff for you. Yeah. I'm like, yay. We gotta, always gotta get you. I wanted to get you something. So. Oh, yay. Thank you. No problem. My pleasure. Oh. I wish I could have gotten you more, but <coughs> sail the edge. Anything is appreciated. Oh, you. Um, and the next thing is, is something that like I was very hesitant to tell anybody that I got because it's really crazy, but it's like my big graduation. He's a big boy. Yeah, it's like my big graduation gift like from my parents. Um, so I got something from Louis Vuitton. Ooh. And we got when we went in the store, we kept calling it, uh, what did Oscar call it? Uh, Louis, Louis Futon? Louis, Louis Futon! Or Louis Futon or something. It was hilarious. Um, oh, Oscar, you're so precious. I know. <laughs> it was so good. And we also, um, the girl that sold it to me, she asked us, like, oh, like, what are you guys here for? And my friend Tiffany said, oh, we're here for Anime North. And she's like, oh, I love anime. Like, I love One Piece. And she's like a big nerd. We're gonna, we're gonna Louis Vuitton. 
It was, was like great. life goals. Yeah, <laughs> it was so good. I was like, I love her. So it's in a box. So it comes in like it better for you know for what it is. It better come in a box. So it comes in like this big old box that slides. Ooh, a slide box. And I guess box. I don't mean to like cut you off here for okay, a sec, I'll hold. but you can see it slides and it's also in a in a like a dust bag too, Ooh. which is good because you know I don't want this to ever get ruined. So um, bag and a slidey box. Yeah. And, uh, oh crap, this is like my child, like, like forever my child, so I got this bag, it's the Louis Vuitton Celine PM, I believe is the name of this bag, and it comes in a bigger one, but I wanted like a little boy, and um, I also wanted something that didn't say Louis Vuitton, like a big letters, like look at me, I'm Louis Vuitton in your face, like I wanted something that was like nice, but you wouldn't, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't know it's Louis Vuitton unless you like get up and like read like the label or whatever that says it on it. It's still very discreet. Yeah, because, yeah. and I wanted something that wasn't a leather bag, I wanted a canvas bag. So this is mostly all made out of canvas, which is good because we don't want to hurt them animals. And then uh, it comes with a strap, well, I guess I probably won't do all the strap stuff now, but it comes with like this strap. It comes with, yeah, so it comes with like this strap do hickey, so you can wear it, so you can like have it like down around your waist. Like a crossbody. Yes. Say. Yeah. That is the word. Strap. So yeah, this is like my baby. Sweet baby boy. Like literally, as soon as I got here, I seen the bag, and I was like, it's still in the box, isn't it? She's like, it's still in the bag in the box. And I'm like, yeah. Good. Like I want to take it out. I wanted to wait until I was home, and like funny story. So when we were walking around with that, I was too scared to leave it anywhere. Because I'm like this, I don't want anybody to steal it. So, my sweet child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm like this is like. Uh, so when we were walking around, I didn't want to have it checked in on any like the bag holding places or anything. So we, so I carried it around with me for like two days. <laughs> and both days we went shopping, and on this day we had to go through like we went in the CN Tower, Ooh. and there's a security check, and I thought, oh my god, they're gonna make me open up my bag, and I don't want to oh, open it, no. so I wanted to unbox it with my mom when she came up for my graduation, like I wanted it together with her, yeah, and it was like wrapped in ribbon and stuff too, and I like I didn't want to undo it all, oh, so I was like scared, I'm like, please don't unwrap my bag, and they're like, no, it's okay, we'll just swab it for drugs, so I'm like, okay, <gasps> like cool, like just swab the box for drugs, we'll just like, swab it for drugs, it's fine. <laughs> Sweet, no, you're okay. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. And then uh, uh, we went to security through the airport. Yeah. Lots of times if something's in a bag, they make you open it. So I've had packages where they're like, we have to open it. I'm like, eh. And in security, I'm like, please, please don't randomly check me. And they did. not So I got to keep it around. So I'm glad. No random selection. Yeah. So I was like super glad. And uh, that's everything I got. She also got these really, really good pumpkin seeds that I've been munching on. <laughs> From the air, from the Halifax airport. From the airport. Halifax airport, they're delicious and they're maple because Canada. Yep. They're also <laughs> vanilla. Wait, they're vanilla? Yeah, they're vanilla and oh, maple what? sugar, vanilla and Wawa. I didn't realize they're vanilla. Heck they're really yeah. sweet. They're good. They're really good. It's like candy, but like nuts. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't feel as bad for eating like half a day. Exactly. It's like good for you. I didn't really and eat that bag, but no, I ate. I probably ate like half the bag before you get here. I'm like. <gasps> Like I'm so, so hungry. 